What's up guys? So I took off my rubber bands because somebody was like, her mouth is gross. I wanted to say so bad, scumbag. Do you know what rubber bands are? Like I have braces, like what the heck? Like, I know it looks like I have like vampire teeth and all this stuff, but come on now. So anyway, um, I wanted to do this video because I wanted to talk about, talk about um, how to balance life, but still try to find time for yourself. So, um, many of people that know me know that I have a lot of stuff going on. Like, um, I have babies here. Um, I work out. I see about my daughter. I'm married. I work. Um, I'm, I'm a part of the Big Brother, Big Brother, Big Sister Foundation. Like, there's so many things that I'm constantly doing. Like, constantly, constantly, always doing something. And then I'm a clean freak. I have OCD, so I'm constantly like always cleaning like cleaning all the time like if you walk into my house it's spotless like there's there's nothing everything's put together like i don't know if this is a bit excessive but i clean up every day i make sure that i probably don't cook as much because uh dennis does that but hey like if i had to i'll cook but he's usually the one that takes care of that and i take care of everybody else in the house plus cleaning and different things like that so uh balance because with us women, most definitely us moms, you know, it's really hard to try to, it's really hard to try to balance all this stuff and then make time for yourself. Like, um, when my daughter was a little bit younger, um, I was seeing about everybody else and I forgot about myself. And I wasn't happy, I was miserable, uh, like even low self-esteem, like I wasn't taking care of my mental health, like I really, really wasn't taking care of myself. And I was just constantly on the go, on the go, on the go, on the go. And then um, I was like, all right, like I really need to work on making making that balance. You know what I mean? So I see about everything. Like it's really hard for me to uh, try to make my marriage work, see about my husband, see about my daughter, and then see about everything else that's going on in my life. Like see about every, everything else that I'm trying to do. I'm sorry. Like for my daughter yesterday, her and I went to Kiwanis. I know a lot of you guys, if you're from AZ, you know what Kiwanis wave, wave pool is. It's, it's lit. So um, I told my daughter, I was like, hey, we're going to Kiwanis Wave Pool. She's like, what? I'm like, yes, I got the whole day planned. So we're going to go eat breakfast first, and then we're going to go to Kiwanis Wave Pool. And I wanted to do that because I recognize when I don't give her the attention that she deserves. Because, like, come on now, like, I'm very, very busy. I have, like, so much things that I'm doing. But at the end of the day, I slowed down. I'm like, hey, like, my, you really have to make time to spend time with your daughter because at the end of the day, like she's she's getting older, like she's gonna need your support. Like she's gonna need somebody to listen. And if you have a little girl, um, y'all may know this, they need somebody to listen. Like I'll never forget that I had this guy that I work with. Um, he was a single dad and he has his son and his daughter, but he was like, hey, like, you know, we're talking about having daughters and stuff. He said, to be honest, like, uh, my daughter was having a hard time with like, you know, me splitting from her mom and everything. But I learned all she wanted is somebody to listen he said she'll hop in the, in the car after school and then hop in the car after school and i'll just be like how was your day and then she would just talk and then he said he wouldn't even say anything he would just listen to her and then after that she's like daddy i just appreciate you for listening to me when he said that that really stuck with me so even when i like get my daughter from school like sometimes i'm not gonna lie like i'm young so like i'll be having a lot of stuff going on i'll be on my phone i'll be texting this person or taking calls i'm always on the phone all the time making appointments and make sure making sure uh making making sure like this is together and not it's together and uh did it straight and she's straight and everybody else is straight and everything else like i'm constantly always doing that and I get caught up, I get caught up. Even when I'm at home, sometimes I be on my phone, try to do stuff. Sometimes I get caught up and it's like, wait, you get caught up and she's vocal and she's like, mommy, like, I feel like we're not spending a lot of time to, with each other. So like, I get caught up with my own stuff and I gotta take a step back and I'm like, wait, hold on. Like my daughter's only getting older. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know a lot of us, you know, a lot of us, grow up and we have issues, some issues with the way our parents raised us or some things we don't agree with. And I don't want her growing up like that. So I do my best to, and if she tells me, mommy, like I need your attention right now. And I go, all right, baby, like I apologize. I, I got caught up in myself and I got caught up in everything that's going around me. I'm sorry, like give me a moment, I'll drop everything. Like when we went to Kiwanis, um, and I kind of jumped off topic, but I'm sorry. But when we went to Kiwanis, like 
We, I put my phone, I put everything in a locker. It was just me and her. We was in the wave pool, had a tube, just having a good time, swimming in the waves. She's swimming, I'm swimming, uh, talking. Um, I went and got her some food. Y'all know I'll be try I be trying to stay away from the nachos and all that corn dogs and all that stuff. Cause I sure in the heck wanted a pretzel, but I'm like, I don't really need it. But anyway, um, like I got her stuff. We went outside after we were done swimming, we sat down and we just talked. I'm like, look, so what's up? Like, like you got my full attention, what's on your mind? And she told me, she's like, mommy, I had a great time. And that's, that's what matters. You know, it's really like um, giving her her time because sometimes I feel like, like, I gotta do better. I gotta be a get better mom. You know, we get so caught up in everything that's going on. It's always so much going on. Bills, you gotta make sure your bills are paid. You gotta make sure our kids has food. You know what I mean? Like, and then, so I've been really working on spending time with her. And I'm so sorry, this, this video is all over, all, all over the place, but I'm just speaking from the heart. Whatever's coming out, I'm just saying it. And then also, sometimes I don't, I like, I, I make it mandatory for me to make time for myself. Like, I have, I have a, home, a home gym, I'm so busy. So like sometimes I can't get to the gym because I have so much going on and Didis needs me here to help him. So like yesterday I was like, all right, uh, no excuses. Like let me just I, I went in my living room. I have some weights here. I was hitting weights. I was on the couch. I was on the couch doing dips, listening to music. Like I'm like you know what? Like you gotta make it work. You know, uh, I I I'm, I make time for myself even if it's like listening to podcasts. Um, listen to motivation videos, praying, like even like sometimes like I know y'all like to do this. I just like to sit in my car and just chill and just like wind down. And I love going on walks. Like I love taking the dogs on walks, like different things like that. Like I make time for myself. I make time for myself. Um, because us moms, man, we like everybody, like we're, we're being pulled in like 10 different directions, bro. Sometimes it's really like exhausting. Like I'm not gonna lie. I, like by the time I, I every, like when I'm done doing everything, I look up, it's already eight o'clock. And I'm like, think it's eight o'clock. I gotta finish getting myself ready for work, get myself dressed. Everybody else is down, fed, in bed. I forgot, I gotta eat. I gotta, you know, um, throw my clothes on. Then by the time I sleep, I sleep, it's about 10, 11 o'clock and I'm right back up at like 5.30 ready to go to work. But sometimes, you know, it, it's worth the sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I do my best to try to find a balance. I know that it's a lot that I'm doing, but I try to, to do my best to balance it out. But I try to make sure that I make time for myself because it's very hard for me to do that sometimes. But even if it's like um, when everybody's asleep, like I'll go to the gym. Like I've been going to the gym, like not even like, you know, some people feel like they got to go to the gym for an hour. Uh -uh. Um, I get on one of those bikes where your legs just twirl like that. I don't know the name of it. I get on, get on one of those bikes. I have my podcast going and I'm just like going hard, you know, just just going hard for like 15 minutes i'm like all right like i don't beat myself up or anything um i know like some people i used to do this too i'm like hey like dang 15 minutes that's not, I, I didn't do enough no you got to know your body okay when i go to that gym i'd be exhausted but i'm like hey 15 minutes that's better than nothing that's better than nothing i made time for myself 15 minutes peace and quiet that's all i need so um really wanted to do this video for the moms because it's hard trying to balance everything you know what i mean and it's also a very important to make time for your kids, you know, and make time for all your kids, all your kids. Cause you know what I mean? Having one, but going from one to more, you know, even those moms out there, you gotta make sure that you're giving everybody their attention, everybody, you know? And even though it's exhausting, you know, us women, we, we're strong will, we have a way, we find a way to, um, we find a way to, we find a way to make that, make, make that, make that happen. So it's like, Sometimes I'm like, I don't even know how I do it. Like, you know, managing a marriage, managing my job, managing the kids, managing all this other stuff, managing me really trying to still, you know, make these videos and uh, go after go after my dreams. It's really hard, it's hard. Um, but I don't know how I do it, but I, I, there's a will, there's a way. I don't make no excuses. Um, even when I'm exhausted, I, I get it done. I get her done, I get her done. So I didn't really want to talk about much today. I just wanted to just pretty much um, tell you moms out there, tell you ladies out there, make time for yourself, make time for your kids. I understood um, my daughter, she's very vocal. And I tell her that sometimes she doesn't want to talk. And I'm like, hey, like, tell me, like, sit down. Like, what's up? Like, tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what's on your mind. And she tells me, and I appreciate that. Because just because I'm, you know, um, I feel like growing up, you know, in old school, Parents, you know, you didn't really have no opinion. You know, you you, you you couldn't even voice your opinion, honestly. 
But with my daughter, I don't want to raise her like that. I told her, no, like, I don't want you to go quiet. I want you to tell me what's going on. I want you to tell me what's, what's going through your head. Like, tell me what I need to work on. I'm your mom. I'm not perfect. I'm human. Like, tell me. So um, I just been really uh, focused on making time with her. Um, also, always focus on making time for myself. Um, also making time for my husband as well. I know this video is all over the place, but I'm just speaking from the heart. I mean, a lot of people, uh, a lot of women just be like, you know, like, I just don't, I just don't have time. I don't have time for myself. I don't have time for this. I don't have time. Okay. You don't have time for it. And then you go on and look in the mirror and then you just look at, looking at a mess. Not just saying you look a mess, but a mess, like menti mentally, physically, like you're just like, I'm a mess. Like I'm overwhelmed. I'm a mess. Like I'm just all over the place because you have to take that time out. Dude, you got, you got, you got to take that time out. This video was kind of all over the place, but uh, I just wanted to touch bases with you guys. This was on my heart. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, hey, like I kind of want to do a quick video, not nothing long, but this, um, this made pretty much talking about how I'm just working on really balancing everything and balancing my life, my job, everything. Um, I also had a job interview today. That went awesome. Um, you know, I told you guys about the job interview. This is the first one that I really, really want. I've, I'll find out, find out like sometime this week if I got the job or not. Um, but you know, I'm, you know what I mean? Like I went in there, I prayed, I said, hey God, this is you. Like I I'm here. I showed up. I showed up on time. I showed up, showed up ready. Um, I showed up being 100% myself. The questions they asked me, I was, you know, being myself and that's it. If I get the job, beautiful. If not, then hey, like it just wasn't meant for me. So I had a busy day today, but um, just want to tell you guys, um, you moms out there and everybody to just try to uh, balance it out. Just try to balance it out. Try to make time for yourself. Make time for your kids, especially because um, kids matter. And you know what I mean? It's so easy to get caught up in yourself. It's so easy to get caught up um, in your life. And also husbands give your husband's time you know what i mean even with my my husband even when the kids are all asleep then we like to talk like yesterday um we were watching watching um usher um perform at the tiny desk i believe that's what it's called we we're watching him and man we, i had a good time i felt like i was really there like we were just sitting there talking you know watching usher and we just watch movies and even if it's just something simple, sitting down and watching TV, you know what I mean? E e anything like that, just having a simple talk, like sitting down, sitting down at the table, like eating together, like just, just where there's, there's a will, there's a way, mom. Um, moms, single moms, ladies, everybody, um, make time for yourself, take time for yourself. It's so easy to let yourself go. I, I, I'll never forget that when I lost myself, I looked in the mirror, I'm like, where the hell? hell did you go my show what's going on bro you lost yourself and that was the worst feeling i would never allow myself to um to get that way so balancing everything of course i put god first like always i'm going to continue to say that in my video and just finding a way finding a balance i don't know how i do it but i do it moms even if it's hard even if you're doing it alone you know what i mean sometimes you know i know a lot of moms and a lot of ladies out there and even men men out there because i know a lot of single dads dads too uh, make time for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of dads that's just grind about their kids 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. But it's exhausting, dads. You know what I mean? Make time for yourselves too. So I love you guys. Uh, be blessed. Mwah.